zero waste destination. The Hawaii County Council's Environmental Management Committee considered a resolution to urge the mayor to increase zero waste education programs. The measure was introduced by Councilwoman Margaret Willey. This is actually one of um, a basket of zero waste bills that I'm going to bring forward over the next uh, couple uh, month or two. And um, a key to successful zero waste programs, as I see it from looking at ones around the U.S. that were successful, is really having a, a vital educational component. Um, and I think when you say education, for me, that also means motivation and understanding and sort of getting people onto you know, why and why it should be important to them. Noah Dodd, an educator testifying from Waimea, spoke about how successful recycling measures have been when implemented on the campus of Hawaii Preparatory Academy. Um, I've implemented this year a five-stream zero-waste sort system at the HPA Village campus K-8. through There's 10 of these systems strategically placed around the campus. They're color-coded. Green is compost. Purple is mixed. Yellow is paper, blue is high five, and red is rubbish. Kids were educated for two months prior to implementing these stations. They are now working excellently. We're diverting about 400 pounds just in the compost can alone. Diversion meaning it's not going to the landfill. The compost, in our case, is being processed on site in the garden program. I can't really speak to the importance of zero waste and composting coming together, like I said, in three minutes. But this is the future. It does work. However, efforts like the one at HPA are difficult to implement across the entire county, according to the county's director of environmental management, Bobby Jean Leithead Todd. People who are talking about doing five stream and you know, at, at the various facilities, that's just not workable. One, because of space. Two, um, you have to recognize that we're out here in the middle of the Pacific. We ship all the recyclables out. We don't have end users here. And so you have to look at what you can achieve and what you can do. Uh, the other issue that you have to recognize is that because we are the only county that does not, as a municipality, provide curbside pickup, um, you are relying on people source separating at home and then bringing it to our transfer stations to a great extent. And that's one of the reasons why you have to make it easier for them, and that's why we've been doing basically the two stream. Now that the incinerator plan has been put aside, I think that we need to focus on this opportunity. There were some political undertones to Resolution 73-15. Mayor Billy Kanoy recently withdrew his plan to find someone to operate a waste-to-energy facility. But before doing so, he decided not to renew a contract with the nonprofit Recycle Hawaii to provide for such recycling education. I'm kind of sorry that our mayor, for some reason, is having some mental lapses or something like that because at this juncture, we do, you know, the educational aspect is what we need. So I'm not quite sure what happened with Recycle Hawaii and their contract, but this is a business proposition for all of you. When you look at the cost to the county to run a landfill operation, you have a set avoided cost. And so if that cost is $100 a ton, just to throw a number out there, and you can run a, an educational pro program for a small portion of that, and manage to divert large amounts of waste, that's a savings to all of us. Council members balked at the idea of spending more government money on an educational component to recycling. So I think education begins in each community, and I'd like to see that each community would take hold of it instead of us always trying to rely on the county to pay somebody to come into communities to teach communities about that when I think there are a lot of resources in each and every one of our communities. I don't know anything about funding uh, sources. Uh, I, all I have is a resolution and a, and a communication, and that's it. I don't have any supporting documents. And, you know, I, I just don't want to do that to the mayor. Willie said she would work on improving the language of her resolution. I would... Um be willing to change that. I think that I'm trying to get uh, 
moving forward in this direction. Because the incinerator is, is now off the table, I think we have not only a great opportunity, but also an obligation to make efforts um, every way we can to implement our zero waste policies.